In the following tasks, I need the screwdriver so I give the order to lift it from the rack. I also activate the new TCP values for the VR model, which is in use in the background. Next, I will test whether it is possible to insert the tip holder into the screwdriver. To improve the visibility of the interface, 3D printed parts have been added to both the screwdriver and the tip holder. In an optimal situation, the interfaces would have been designed specifically for remote operation. But in this context, easily available solutions are used. After some pushing and turning, the interfaces fit together and the tip holder can be slid out of its rack. Just before contacting the bolt, I switch the control mode to force or torque control. A close-up camera view would help positioning of the tool tip. Furthermore, alignment of the tool is done only visually. A better option would be to use the normal axis of the tabletop, to align the tool and freeze the tool orientation by setting the orientation scale factor to zero. This would maintain optimal tool orientation despite changes in the orientation of the haptic arm. When necessary, tool orientation could still be rotated using haptic arm touch keys, because touch key command is not affected by the scaling factor. But as seen, all the bolts can be opened one by one just by utilizing force or torque feedback. The scaling factor used for the rotations is 0.1. After all the bolts have been opened, it's time to return the tip holder into its rack. Also the screwdriver can be returned into rack by calling an automatic routine. The next task is to transport one by one the loosened bolts from the replaceable center nut to the bolt rack. Unfortunately, the orientation of the pallet is such that the bolt rack is not properly visible. To save time, the video speed is momentarily multiplied by 5 during this repetitive task.
The next video will show the replacement of the center nut.